watch and pray. Mark 14, verse 32 through 41. Jesus prays. Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he told them, Sit here while I pray. Jesus took along Peter, James, and John. He was sad and troubled and told them, I am so sad that I feel as if I'm dying. Stay here and keep awake with me. Jesus walked on a little way. Then he knelt down on the ground and prayed, Father, if it is possible, don't let this happen to me. Father, you can do anything. Don't make me suffer by having me drink from this cup. But do what you want and not what I want. When Jesus came back and found the disciples sleeping, he said to Simon Peter, Are you asleep? Can't you stay awake for just one hour? Stay awake and pray that you won't be tested. You want to do what is right, but you are weak. Jesus went back and prayed the same prayer. But when he returned to the disciples, he found them sleeping again. They simply could not keep their eyes open, and they did not know what to say. When Jesus returned to the disciples the third time, he said, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough of that. The time has come for the Son of Man to be handed over to sinners. Heavenly Father, we appreciate your word. It shows us how you operated in your humanity and your patience with us. You felt sad and troubled as we are today. Although you were God manifested in humanity, you still took time to pray, showing us the importance of prayer, especially when we are in distress. Even Jesus in his humanity asked for the cup of suffering to be passed from him if it was your will. Much more us, Lord. We have faith, but sometimes the suffering on earth is too much. Give us the strength to stand when we are weak. Strengthen our courage when we want to give up. Renew our spirits when we are tired from holding on. Help us to be awake, to be sober, to be vigilant, because our eternal enemy is seeking to destroy us. Help us because we don't want to perish. Hear and answer our prayer in Jesus' name.